Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Katie. This is the place to go if you want to grow when you've hit a musical plateau. We're going to be learning open arms on the ukulele. Open arms, nothing to hide. Believe what I say. So here Don't let this throw you off right here. This lanakai has a low G and a high G. You would play it just like a normal ukulele. So whether you have a low G or high G doesn't matter. Let's start with the chords. Finger number three is on the third fret of the A string. That's a C. G. Finger number three is on the third fret of the E string and fingers one and two on the second fret of the C in the A strings. F. So we have finger number two, second fret of the G string, first fret of the E string. A minor, just release the pointer finger. Now D minor, we have this one right here. So it looks a lot like your F, but you're gonna add your ring finger on the second fret of that C string. So if you look, we have A minor, F, D minor, you see how they all have that middle finger in common? That's going to be important. And then we have an E minor. It looks like stairs. Doo, 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 doo. Ba, ba, ba. So finger number one, first fret. Oh, sorry. It's finger number one, second fret. Then finger number two, third fret. And finger number three, fourth fret of the A, E, and the C string. Last but not least, we have a B flat. So make sure your ukulele neck is up at a 45 degree angle more so, it'll be a lot easier. And you're going to kind of put your finger to the side this way rather than straight up and down. So bring your elbow out just a little bit and then pivot your wrist out a little bit. So you'll see on, you'll see like it's more at an angle than straight up and down. That's going to push down on the first fret of the A and the E string. Finger number two, second fret of the C string. Finger number three, third fret of that G string. I would use this strumming pattern. Down, down, up, down, up, down. Down, up, down, up. One, two, and three, and one. Two, and three, and. and. You can see that I'm swinging the beat slightly. Otherwise, it'd be a little too stiff. One, two, and three, and one. Two and three and. So I'm just adding a little bit of swing to it, a little bit of a sway. If you want to learn how to swing the beat, I have a video that I did on that. I'm going to put that in the cards above in the description box below. So let's try the strumming pattern together. We have our C chord first. Down, down, up, down, up, down. Down, up, intro. Down, down, up, down, up, down. Down, up, G. F. A minor, G, F, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. That's also the first part of the verse. So if you play that twice more, you're going to play the first part of the verse. Now for this pre-chorus part, we sailed on together. We have D minor, one, two, and three, and one, two, D minor, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, A minor, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, G, and then we have a C, G, F. Now before we move on, I just wanted to go over that part again. Do you see that split measure? We have A minor for two counts and then G for one. So we have A minor, down, down, up, and then we have a G, down, up. So on that last down, up, you have that, that switch with that G chord. So it'd be one, two, and three, and one. Full pre-chorus, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, A minor. Drifted apart, G. All right, you see that? Now this next part, I thought it would be really cool because it does kind of switch between an F and a G, but there's some bass notes I hear in the piano, and I think it sounds really cool on the ukulele if we take our F chord and then we just slide it up two frets. It kind of has some similar chord, uh, similar notes to the G chord, but not really. It just sounds really fun. I just think that's 
that's cool. <laughs> you can just play the F chord if you want to, but I love the... Now here you are by my side. to hide, B-flat. And then you repeat that chorus again. So we have that C, E minor, F, B-flat. And that's pretty much the entire song because the instrumental is the intro. Now for that intro and also the instrumentals, I have made a little finger picking, finger style <laughs> portion of it. And so that's the bum bum ba dum bum, that part. So first I'm going to take finger number one and place that on the third fret of the E string. And I'm going to strum strings four, three, and two. I'm going to avoid this A string, or you can just lightly touch it with the pad of your pointer finger. Do you see how my finger's just a little bit curved in? And I can, mute it. So if I strum, you can only hear those three strings. I'm using my thumb because I feel like it's really expressive that way. You could use your pointer finger if you wanted to. I just feel like I have a little bit more control there with my thumb. So I have my right there, and then I'm going to place my pinky here on that fifth fret of that A string. So I have strum fifth fret and then I have the seventh fret so let's try that again so I have pointer finger third fret strum fifth fret seventh fret now from here what I've done is that you can push down on both of these or you can use your focus fox fingers one and two i just feel more comfortable if i have them just planting one finger finger number one across the third fret of the a and the e strings and i strum all of my strings and then i pluck that e string hear that brung gong right there that's why i like to use my thumb so let's try measures one and two together one two and three and one two and three and and then third fret let's move on to measures three and four so it looks like a g chord with my like this right here and then i'm going to place my pinky on the fifth fret of the A string for that second part. So I'm just playing these three strings again like I did at the very first part of the finger picking part. And now I add that fifth fret. So I have G chord, pinky, and then second fret, my middle finger is already there. Now I have an F chord, but I'm going to add the third fret here of the A string. So I'm gonna use my pinky for that. Mm -hmm. And then I have a quick arpeggio. So I'm going to pluck the C string, E string, then the A string. So it will be like that. So let's try measures three and four together. One, two, and three, and one. G chord, pinky, second fret, and then we have that F chord, arpeggio. Now this part, we have an A minor, so I'm just going to lift off my pointer finger and I'm going to strum all of my strings. And then you can either slide down to the second fret with your pinky of the A string and slide back to the third fret, or you could whatever just best suits you. You could use your ring finger instead and alternate. So I have A minor with the pinky. And then G chord. And then I pluck that third fret of that E string, but you see how I didn't have to move my fingers? It was already there. So I have my. And then open E string. And then I have my F chord. And an arpeggio. And then F chord. So I had my thumb pointer, middle pointer. 
strum all strings. So what I've done is that I have mixed the two. I have a strumming portion and then I have that riff. You could play the riff every time you want or maybe just once. Pick and choose whatever you'd like to do. The play along is next. I made a video on how to slow down or speed up any YouTube video. I'm going to put that in the cards above and the description box below so that you can either slow it down or speed it up depending upon what you're working on. One, two, three. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had fun learning this. If you want more songs on the ukulele guitar singing lessons, I'm going to put them in the cards all around me. And I hope to see you in the next one. Love you. Bye. Thank you so much. Oopsie. Hair, hair, hair is everywhere. <laughs> there you go. That's not part of the song. But should it be? Maybe. <laughs>